Yeah, I sure. think the the technique, like you said, and the mindset. I'm reading mindset right now. Oh, right. And first for the first time. For the first time, yeah. And it's it's interesting how in sports, talent is the talk. We're getting the best talent, and it's not talent. It's who's practiced the most. Who's constantly improving. Talent is just ten thousand hours of putting in the work. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Isn't and, it amazing how the yeah. uh, society has been conditioned to think that that's accurate and right. it's inaccurate? And, and so talking, talent doesn't even, it's not even, it doesn't exist. Right. Talent is the accumulation of skill sets by practicing and building skill sets. 100%. So, uh, which I didn't even know. I thought talent was a thing. And uh, yeah, it's almost like erase that word from your vocabulary. That's just a toxic right. word. So, so we talk about oh, Sexton is super talented or Tomac is super talented. No, those guys have just practiced correct techniques to the point where it's, they don't even think about it. They could drop heels in their sleep. And yeah. 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 Talent makes you think it's some magical thing that's acquired from birth and it's not. That, that I, some people have and some don't. And that's just not yep, a it, thing. It's for, for those, for me, I'll speak on me specifically. I would be considered, people consider me talented on a bike and for the reason that I practice the right skill sets from age seven, age eight to 16, mm-hmm. age eight to 16 was spent doing all the right things by accident, by the way, uh, to develop a lot of bike skill. So therefore people mistook that as a natural talent, right? I have good genetics like physically, but there, there wasn't a natural talent on a dirt bike. My dad rode locally at a novice or amateur level. Mm -hmm. So did my uncle. That wasn't, I didn't get a genetic gift from riding dirt bikes from them. Um, And I think it was just getting downloaded into me and my dad would, uh, the one thing he I think did correctly, unfortunately it wasn't much guidance in these videos even, but he would put on dirt bike videos when I would sleep when I was a baby. Uh, But it was like terra firma, crusty demons. Like (laughs) it wasn't like, Moto Academy stuff where you're learning all the right things yeah, and you're right. still having to kind of nitpick what, what you should be doing. And, but it was, it was kind of getting programmed into me. So Roxon was the same way. Like I remember going to Minio's in 2006, first time I ever saw Roxon, he couldn't really speak English yet. Mm. Uh, first time anybody had seen him, he was on a Suzuki 85 and I was known for showing up to these nationals, Loretta's minios and bringing little X factor ramps, those pla- black plastic ramps for bicycles. Uh-huh. And nobody would jump them f- and further from ramp to ramp than I would. I'm talking 26, 27 feet, which doesn't sound far, that but that's far. from like here to the pool table. Yeah. Black ramp. Yeah. Foot right. and a half tall ramp to black ramp <laughs> on an 18 inch BMX or 16 inch BMX bike. I would <laughs> go huge and it was like, it would turn into a whole spectacle uh-huh. that week at Loretta's Roxon shows up and he's going the same exact distance as me with cool style and everything. And I'm like, <laughs> who is this guy? Uh, and that's what people mistake as talent, right? right? It's just practicing uh-huh. bike skill and that bike skill on the, on the, on the bicycle or the mountain bike. Have you seen rocks on a mountain bike? The videos him on a mountain bike. I never have. He's very good on one. Like that bike skill translates from, from person to person. Um, everything okay back there, Cam? I think that whole idea gets exacerbated as well with the amount of social media we have. You hop on Instagram or, or TikTok or anywhere else. And you see 15 seconds of somebody being absolutely amazing at something. And you don't see the, th- the thousand takes they took to get that 15 second video or, you know, that sort of thing, or, or the years of practice they put in to where they can just hop down and do it in one or two takes. Yeah. And people turn, put them on a pedestal and, and make it seem like there's some immortal being that is like inhuman, like a Kobe Bryant. Right. Right. Yet if you listen to Kobe Bryant's interviews, like couldn't be any more. Have you ever listened to Kobe Bryant talk and go listen to some interviews? Like, yeah, I think he did one with Jay Shetty. Okay. It's probably a couple hours long. It's amazing. He talks about like the foundation of a growth mindset and learning. He talks about imagination and creativity and like everything that it's, it's amazing. And you're like, oh, uh, no wonder that guy is who he was. No wonder he had it so figured out. Talked about 
the process of working, talk, getting down to the root of fear while standing there on a foul line to shoot a foul shot or a game winning shot and walking through the fear of, of that. Um, and how ultimately like he goes, what's the, there's nothing to be afraid of. What's the fear that I let people down that I missed the shot. It's like, that's not something to be afraid of. Um, and I know motocross is a bit different because I always go back to, there is a, it's not missing a foul shot. It's you could kill yourself. Right. But <laughs> Minus that, the competitive part and the result-based fears and the performance anxiety-based fears, um, are they're all completely made up. Yeah, go listen to Kobe Bryant, Bryant speak a little bit. And also, any high-level person that you start to listen to, it all begins to ring true. And I'm like, ah, I'm, it's like I can just... It's like there was, cl I had cloudy vision before and now I, I see it and I understand it. I'm like, eh, all of them, every single one of them, Elon Musk, all of them. It's all the same type of- They all say the same thing, don't thinking. they? Yep, yeah. and it's not magic. The, where, where ideas come from, mm -hmm. that's where the magic is. It's like where the, where the idea is coming from. Right. But other than that, the execution of the steps, very, very straightforward. Um, very straightforward. Yeah. Mindset's a good book. A uh, student brought one to Moto Academy member. Shout out. Don't remember their name. <laughs> brought me a mindset book at class in Kentucky. Is that how you found it? Signed it? No. Oh, you signed no, it? No, they read it because I posted well, it inside of the well, app. Well, you autographed I mine. It. I have it with me. Do you? Yes. Yep. I can't wait to write a book one day, but I want to wait until I actually understand more.